What's good, YouTube? Car if I can't hear Aqua Life Baby, I already know how it is. Um, so, uh, today, guys, um, just finished dropping my mom off at the Metro so she can go to work. Um, and I was, uh, just wanted to give you guys the tournament report for yesterday. Um, I, it was like about 17, 18, 19 players or something like that. Four rounds. Uh, I played at Island Games in Virginia again. Um, you know, I, I, we like to go there on Sundays now. Uh, but yeah, playing that was again. I feel like I'm getting better with the deck, honestly. Um, I feel like I'm reacting a little bit faster with my plays. Um, a lot of the plays are coming a bit more natural to me. Uh, you know, Tekken 7 just came out, so I've been focusing on that, and I haven't really touched Vanguard until yesterday, because of Tekken 7, that's, that's, that's my game, that's my baby, but, um, yeah, like I said, I feel like I'm getting better with the deck, I feel like I'm making more progress, uh, in terms of my plays, situation awareness, I'm learning, I've learned how to, I'm learning how to use Dragoot a lot better, um, more effectively, uh, and, you know, in, and in situations, uh, I just need to be, I just need to, uh, keep working on, you know, those things as well as improving my counter blast management, um, and, uh, some, some more situational, you know, pressure versus advantage type of, uh, type of plays but other than that i'm having fun still having fun a lot of fun with the deck um i've made some improvements to the deck main deck wise uh and i know i think the gba is coming out i think this weekend or next weekend so i am going to have an updated deck profile probably before the gba comes out because i'll just tell you what i'm going to throw out of the deck in place of the gb8 uh because the, probably the main deck's more likely going to remain the same um, if I come out to you guys with a profile before then, so you'll see. Um, but yeah, on with the tournament report. Round one, uh, played against Royal Paladins, the Blaster Exceed deck. Uh, game one, I, game one, I was able to, uh, take it because of Dragoot. Dragoot, I was able to, uh, he had three cards on board. I was able to superior call three hollow cards, get rid of his board, um, and he didn't have a giant hand to start out with, plus the pressure from that turn. Uh, so it was just, it, you, you know, that one turn of Dragoo really more or less secured, secured the win for me. Um, he wasn't really able to build up a, a strong field and, uh, you know, things like that happened. And then, uh, game two... Um, game two, I was stuck at grade two for like at least four turns. And that was kind of like the start of like, you know, just a trend that seemed to happen yesterday. Um, but I was a great stuck at two for like four turns. I scraped by barely finally top deck and he was playing Blaster Exceed. He didn't retire. I'm not sure what his reasoning was behind uh, not retiring some of my cards with a uh, Blaster Exceed. That was just trying to put on a little pressure and give us his rear guards. Uh, but, you know, each to his own is what it is. Um, I was able to top deck at Night Rose and Shride, uh, going to Gouch. I was able to build up some advantage because of the crit triggers I used, uh, early on just to filter through my deck, just trying to get to a grade three, any grade three. Um, so I did that and, uh, yeah, I did that. I was able to build up my advantage back and then... Um, he was forced to go into a uh, thing saver because he I pushed him to five. He was forced to go into a thing saver uh, turn because he was playing thing saver blaster exceed and with the you know the double the double restand for thing saver. But uh, what helped was that I had lazy on board and I was able to use the heal trigger uh, do the lily lily lazy mick the ghosty uh, play put myself at a twenty one k base and uh, was pretty easy to survive from then on um so i won that 2-0 round two uh my great stuck problems continue to persist uh game one i was stuck at two for the longest i um i i just was stuck i failed g assist i ended up top decking a starlight 
Um, and then I was able to stride. I tried to make the most of my stride turn, but the problem was that I was already at five damage. Um, I didn't hit a, I didn't hit any triggers. I had no triggers in hand, just three perfect guards and not enough attacks. And uh, my opponent first turn gluttony dogma me because uh, he G, he G guarded during the turn. So I, I built my hand up best I could with what I had. Uh, tried to just you know just get some advantage back. Um, you know, with uh, abusing Cannoneer and uh, the crit triggers and whatnot, but it just uh, uh, wasn't enough. Um, and then game two, game two, I couldn't stride. I had my I had my one two three ride, um, but I couldn't stride because I I kept top decking my zeros. I I drew into literally three copies of Mick the Ghosty two of the banshee crits like heels uh i wasn't getting any of my twos ones anything or threes to stride with um so i i just rode starlight and i don't like riding starlight but i rode starlight i called up my crit triggers tried to get something um but he did g guard me and then go into gluttony dogma uh i needed him not to hit a crit because i drove check two grade threes uh, I needed him not to check a crit, and he did check a crit, and I just didn't have enough to guard it. I was literally, um, I was literally 10k short of being able to survive that turn because he didn't have much of a hand after Gliding Dogman. He was at four damage, um, so I definitely would have been able to go into like Negro Song or something like that and uh, take the game. But you know, things like that happen. And I can't stride. Uh, and then round three played against Messiah. Um, I executed the same, you know, I executed the same strategy. Both games was pretty much, I tried to, I kept my board clean so that he can't use Messiah's on stride ability as well as abusing Cannoneer to get rid of his board. Um, obviously if he had the, he didn't have the chameleon on game one, uh, cause chameleon has resist, which is you know pretty cool, but you know, I was abusing Cannier, getting rid of his board, so he didn't have any good lock targets or any lock targets for his own abilities. Um, so I kind of it helped me stunt, you know, stunt him in that category. Um, and then uh, I was just able to just pressure him, pressure him down and win. I did hit, I did hit, you know, he did uh, no guard by Vanguard a few times, and I did hit uh, a few crits. Uh, game two, I ended up double, triple critting him. Excuse me. Um, uh, while he was at four, but, you know, yeah, but overall, the strategy was pretty much don't use Negro Bone. Only things that are coming to the board is hollow, so as boosters or power, you, you know, whatever it is, it was between Mick the Ghost and Grenache. Those were the only two cards that were you know, that I wanted, you know, on board boosting. I didn't want anything else because I didn't want him to get his on stride lock ability. Um, playing, you know, I play Link Jokers too, uh, and, you know, from playing Messiahs, they, they're a combo deck, so they, as much as they, you know, want you to have a feel for them to lock, they need a feel so they can start doing their combos, and, you know, without a feel, you know, with, you know, without a feel, they, you know, they can't really do too much. Um, so that was that, uh, then round, um... So then final round, round four, I played against a Night Rose Mirror match and the same problems that in, at the end of round one and throughout round two existed in this matchup. Uh, game one, I was stuck at grade two uh, in the Mirror match. I was stuck at grade two uh, and I couldn't get a grade three for the life of me. I damage checked three copies of uh, Night Rose, one Starlight, two OG Night Rose. Um, it was just, it was really bad. I failed G assist, uh, and I couldn't re-rise, so he did sea breeze me. Um, it, it was just, overall, I couldn't really do anything at all. I tried my best, but I just, I couldn't do anything. And then game, game two, I could stride, uh, but, you know, I had to write Starlight. I did stride. I tried to make the most of my turn, but... Uh, what I, what I was really missing out on was OG Night Rose because I could have had uh, Cannoneer or Lazy, uh, you know, ready to go defensively, um, you know, using her GB2 ability with Negro Lily, obviously. But 
uh, you know, being on Starlight kind of hindered that. So I tried to, I tried to get a little bit more advantage, uh, as possible and, um, you know, just kind of pressure him in a sense. I didn't really, his board really wasn't too clean. Just, you know, his board really wasn't anything that I wanted to get rid of. Usually in a, in a Night Rose mirror match, I want to look to get rid of cards like Negro Bone or something like that, but he didn't have that on the board since I strove first. Um, but then on his stride turn, uh, he, you know, he went to Gauche for his first stride turn and, um, uh, I, you know, cause he, he called it like a stand trigger, put that on like a rook or something like that. And so I was like, all right, well I can take the Vanguard attack and then I'll block this. So I'm at three damage. So I felt pretty safe, but, uh, he did drive check, uh, crit crit stand. So, um, I was, couldn't really do too much from then on. Uh, didn't have too many guard didn't have too many uh, guarding options when you have to make that type of decision But being at three damage generally you feel a little bit safe in being able to take an attack Maybe one crit was ever but you know, he did get crit crit he uh, stands so uh, That ended you know that ended the round, but um, I ended up making top eight anyways, uh, you know, so pretty um, I Guess I, I, I'll take the top but with a grain of salt in a sense, uh, it was not a clean top by any stretch of imagination. It was definitely not clean. It was a dirty top, um, a lot, you know. But more or less because uh, I tried to outplay my situation, where you know, game mechanics more or less just kind of screwed me. Um, but you know, it is what it is. What it is. Uh, again, I still haven't found the deck. Still. Uh, making improvements. I definitely saw some improvements I could make to the deck, especially in the mirror match with someone who's a bit more experienced with me uh, with Night Rose. I did see a bit of a, uh, I did see a bit of a, what's up, man? A bit of a difference. Um, that was my neighbor. Uh, I did see a bit of a difference, um, and I saw some things that I should probably tech in and try out, and uh, I did learn a lot, you know, I was able to play test uh, with them afterwards and I was definitely able to learn um, a lot more. So I'm very happy about that. I'm going to go in, change up the deck and uh, whatnot. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to locals today. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how I'm feeling. But uh, yeah, if I do, you guys will most likely see some videos uh, I'll, I'll be recording card fights there uh that's at my main locals hq games in ellicott city um so yeah i'll probably be recording some card fights there uh maybe get a deck profile or whatever gonna if i go i'll be doing some recording when i go but uh if not then you will probably know all right so cover king i'm out peace aqua life baby you already know